Hey guys, so the Battle of Yelgava for Corlin. So before I go any further, just don't shit on me for not making HD right away because it takes time for HD to upload. So please just uh, hang in there, come back later if you want to see an HD. So uh, right here was the Battle of Corlin, and something really weird happened in this battle, I don't know why. But um, they sort of like spawned one uh, militia squad all the way um, where their main army should be, and the rest of their army spawned as reinforcements. So um... Yeah, it's the first time something like this happens, and uh, yeah, so it wasn't that hard for me to deal with it. I just had to reposition my guys. Okay, so you can see what just happened was basically, uh, yeah, their cavalry charged me, and now the guys that were at the other side of the river are coming across as well. His infantry is coming uh, from the reinforcement uh, point as well, so I'm just going to take them out with my uh, cavalry since I did have a lot. I still have my lines again. So you can see that they are starting to rot away, so, um, yeah, all I'm gonna do, like, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a pikeman uh, crew over there, and they're just in their uh, square pike formation, so I'm just gonna shoot at them and, uh, yeah, take care of them, like, a little, uh, glitch from the AI there, I'm pretty sure. So you can see they're still staying in the square formation and it's not the first time I've seen this uh, little glitch cause, um, but I think it's something to do with the AI because it senses that I have cavalry, I have uh, more numbers so it just sets them in that formation. So now they, they sent some other guys that came out of nowhere so I'm just going to finish them off and um, yeah, battle should be over pretty soon.
and there goes their army. And there's the victory. So I just took uh, Corland and ended that uh, conflict. So you can see the stats um, back on the campaign map. And something really weird happened again, like it was probably a little glitch, but uh, Poland Lithuania also ended up in a war with me. So, um, yeah, you can see the little at war, like I was surprised when I saw it for the first time. But, um, yeah, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. As long as uh, Russia doesn't join in anytime soon, I'll be fine just uh, myself against Poland and Lithuania. So right here what happened was uh, Prussia offered me um, East Prussia for Courland. Now the reason I didn't take it, like it's awesome, because East Prussia gives me twice the amount of money as Courland will give me. They give me a plug bayonet, they give me money, but um, it's in a really unfavorable position. I can't reinforce it, there's no ports for me to send troops in, so I declined the offer. Okay, so I'm skipping forward a couple of years. All I did was basically just uh, focus on regrouping, focus a little on economy. I just got empiricism that allows me to build my colleges, which makes me research uh, basically technologies faster. So I have my rig, I'm going to use them a bit later. And yeah, now I'm concentrating a little on recruiting for um, my campaign against Denmark, because I'm going to try to take Norway and Copenhagen in um, probably the same turn. And now the first thing I'm going to do right now, since uh, the Danes uh, sent an agent, is give you guys the first duel of the campaign. Now during this duel there's a little glitch in the background, um, but it's not that distracting. So yeah, um, my agent won that pretty, uh, like bastardish way, but whatever, good for me. So I'm gonna just send him inside that other school I have over there. So you can see I'm researching the ring bayonet, and now I'm gonna either research. Um, I was thinking between cancer shot or between physiocracy. Now cancer shot gives you your cannons, but physiocracy gives me my. Um, my farm uh, building basically it enhances how good your farms are to you gives you more money from them and um, yeah it makes them way more effective and since I have the farms it'll help a lot if I get to physiocracy yeah okay, I'm gonna start recruiting because I'm gonna need uh, some units I'm not gonna attack Poland yet because uh, uh, they do have an army you see right there then they're pretty much, uh, they could just come around me. I'm just going to recruit some guys in uh, Riga right now. Just send some guys in there as well. I'm going to try to take uh, Lithuania in one turn and um, I'm not sure what the city below it is, but later. So here you got the rig. So what I'm going to try to do is take out their economy, but um, you can see it didn't work, so my rig. Um, I basically just lost him. So guys, that's basically it for this uh, campaign um, vid. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope to see you guys next time. I'm going to be taking the offense to Denmark and Poland Lithuania. So thanks to all my subscribers. I'll see you guys soon.